The Texas House gave preliminary approval to a combination of property tax limits by raising the homestead exemption significantly and then lowering the maximum yearly increase in tax value. That tax cap was opposed by Senate Republicans, which means there will be some tough decisions to reach a compromise. Let's go to Fox Sports' Lori Brown, who has a closer look at what the House approved. Lori. Heather, House lawmakers are touting this bill as one that would save the owner of a $350,000 home about $1,300 next year and $1,500 the year after. With that, I move passage of the largest tax cut in the history of the state of Texas. House lawmakers gave resounding approval to their significantly amended version of Senate Bill 3. They've been 140 hours and five days. SB3 is passed the third reading. Earlier, Dallas State Representative Morgan Meyer explained one provocative measure in the bill, increasing the homestead exemption by a much larger amount than the Senate approved. The Senate's version of SB3 increased the ISD mandatory homestead exemption from 40,000 to 70,000. Members, our substitute doubles this increase to $100,000. And on top of that, the House also amended the bill to lower the cap on appraisal increases from 10% now to 5%. These two sections provide predictability and protect all property owners from the shock of rapidly rising property values. It would add up to $12 billion in tax relief to property owners. Members, we must take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity by sending the largest tax cut in our state's history to the governor's desk. The Senate would still have to approve the appraisal cap, a concept Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick previously considered dead on arrival in his chamber. No. Dr. Lynn Krebs, a research economist with the Texas Real Estate Research Center at Texas A&M, points out that lawmakers already put a different cap in place in 2019, a 2.5% limit on revenue growth for school districts and 3.5% on cities and counties. Those limits are designed to drive tax rates down as property values rise. That's really why Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and a lot of people in the center are saying the cap idea is doesn't work because um, it would basically undo the benefits that we have now of getting rates compressed. And another problem with capping tax values, it would put a higher tax burden on new home buyers and people who need to move. Generally, we look at economic policy and say, you know, we want tax policy that um, doesn't influence people's decisions, you know, on where they're going to live and, and what they're going to do, right? Um, good tax policy is generally neutral. The bill calls for the state to send $12 billion to school districts to offset the cuts. The third vote on SB3 is set in the House for tomorrow. And because the House made significant changes to the Senate bill, it will then need to go back to the Senate for their approval.